Alright, so today we've got some fun things to open. First, there's a couple of secret layers here. And then also, there's a couple of letters that viewers have sent in. Pretty interested to see what's in these. Uh, I think I know what's in here. But this one is totally a mystery. So I'm excited to open these ones up. Uh, we'll start off with these secret layers though. So I ordered these a while ago. Just got them recently. Uh, this is the Extra Life 2021. And also the Monster Anatomy 101 foil etched version. So let's open up this Extra Life. I feel like typically the Extra Life secret layers are pretty good. Uh, the one the previous year, that one was quite good. I got that. It had the uh, Consecrated Sphinx, Teferi's Protection, Amulet of Vigor, and Collected Company. I don't remember what the bonus card was. That might have just been a Planeswalker. This one, though, is also quite good. Not for this card. This is a, you know, a good card, but it's not really a high-value card. And I know there's a bonus one there. We'll get to that after. I'm sure many of you already know what's in this Extra Life one, but... The reason this one is good is because you get two Mall Drifters, that's cool. But not one, but two Crater Hoof Behemoths. So that's pretty crazy in terms of value, I feel. Just because Crater Hoof... The regular version of it, of it uh, prior to this was, you know, sitting at, I don't know, like $40, $50 or something. These ones, yeah, they're going to be less, but still. Two Crater Hoofs, I'll take that. And so this art... Um... Also, I imagine many of you already know, but the thing with this is that uh, these are children's drawings. It says right here, this one's by Kira, age five and a half. And then there's another version of the card where it's a professional artist has uh, done their rendering of the children's drawing, which is really cool, I think. I think this one looks pretty funny. And it has their age too, which is neat. Age, come on, focus camera, age 52. And then we've got Metalwork Colossus. <laughs> That's a pretty funny one. The kids one and the professional one. And then you saw the Mall Drifter. <laughs> I like the, the kids drawing of the Mall Drifter the best. It's kind of like a modern art piece almost. And then the bonus card is a... Questing Feldegriff. So there's the professionally drawn one. And the kids one. It's not exactly a kids drawing. Because it's drawn by Mark Rosewater himself, age 53 and three quarters. So that's a pretty cool one too. You know, not a huge value card here, but. It's a fun one. So I'm pretty happy to get these. Once again, mostly for the Crater Hoops, but they're pretty fun cards. And then this other Extra Life is the Monster Anatomy 101. The reason I got this, uh, I'll point out the card when I get to it, but mainly for one card. So glad they switched to the smaller packaging for these. I feel like it could even be smaller. I'll just, I'll just say it again that I would prefer if they just sent these in like a in a bubble mail or basically just put it in a cardboard sleeve like this, maybe a little bit more reinforced. I'd be fine with that. Well, it looks awesome. The etching on that, holy crap! I think the extra card in this one is a randomized one. So I'm interested to see what that's going to be. It's probably going to be a jumpstart land. So on this one, I really like the etching on that. I think that looks sweet. We've got Fleet Swallower, probably the least exciting card in this one, I think. Well, to me anyway, like, you know, for people that have a mill decks. Probably that's pretty exciting for them. Goblin Trash Master. That one's cool. I have a goblin deck. I'm definitely going to put that in it. In my uh, Grenzo deck. Man, this etching looks so good. 
Ilharg the Raised Boar. That's a pretty good one, right? So, yeah, that's the, the theme is Monster Anatomy. So you can see they've got little, uh, I don't know what you call those, like cutouts or something. Divine Power Armored Joints. Let's go back and see what I said for the other ones. Garbage Gut. Scrap Metal Shoulder. What did this one have? Ship Graveyard and Terrifying Teeth. All right. I really like the etching on that. Protean Hulk. It's a pretty good card there, too. It's got uh, Mysterious Merfolk and Egg Pump. Okay. And the reason that I bought this was right here. Gishath Sun's Avatar. Because I have a Gishath deck. It's one of my favorite decks that I have. For a uh, commander. Let's take a look at this once it got here. Venomous Bite. Power powerful Arms. What are you talking about? It's a T-Rex. And Unlucky Vampire in the belly. Yeah, that would be unlucky. So when I saw this, uh, the picture of this, I was disappointed with it. Um, because, like, I kind of just felt like the regular Gishath art looked better. So I was like, I... I Kind of not even sure if I want to get that, but I decided to get it anyway. But seeing this now, I'm quite glad I got this because in person, like, I just think this looks awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play that in my Gishath deck. Quite happy with that. And as a bonus, the foil etched cards do not curl. You'll see they're super straight there. All right, the bonus card. Let's see this jumpstart land. Yup, mountain. It's all right. Okay, now onto these things. This should be cool. Save this one for last because I don't know what's in it. So as I said, these are some letters from viewers. They sent in some cards. This one is from the MTG Ninja. So both of these people actually have channels of their own. So I definitely encourage you to check out their respective channels. This one from the MTG Ninja. He's a pretty big supporter of the channel. He's a patron. And uh, he also has a Patreon. Oh, cool. Let's see. Thanks again for being my first patron. Really appreciate the support from Jared, the MTG Ninja. And he's drawing a little ninja there. That's cool. Um, so as a reward... For being a patron of his, one thing that you can get are some cool customized cards, which is what he sent me here. Shipping Shield. And I'm pretty sure I know which ones they are. So we've got... Priest of Titania, so he featured this on his channel. This also looks actually cooler than I thought it looked before. And it, you know, it looked pretty cool to begin with. But. So these are uh, vinyl peels, I guess, is what you call them. They've got these uh, extra vinyl shiny bits added on here that he's customized it with. This is pretty cool, though. I have a Salvala Explorer Returned deck. That runs Priest of Titania, so I'll run this one in it. And there's another card here. Oh, that looks pretty sweet, too. This is uh, one of the Kamigawa and Neon Dynasty full art lands. Oh, wow, that's really cool. <laughs> it's so shiny. Something here, what is this? Ninja, <laughs> right? Can't be blocked. That's a cool token. So he does a lot of, a lot of really cool custom stuff. I think that even makes some like metal cards or something like that. Well, that's cool. But yeah, if you're interested in that kind of thing, definitely check out his channel and his Patreon. Get yourself some of these. Nice. I'll play that in one of my decks too. So thanks for that, Jared. All right, now this one is from MTG Open Mic, a creator who I collaborated with not so long ago, actually. We did a comedy video together. 
so you can check that out. It's on my channel, actually. It's, uh, what's the name of it? Oh, Did I Play a Land this turn? That was the one that we made together. So MTG Open Mic, I've mentioned him before on the channel, but if you haven't checked out his channel, I definitely recommend it. He makes some really funny videos. I'm definitely a fan of his channel. What is this? He sent in a little surprise for me. I don't know what this is. Alright, so that first one looked like a blue card. I don't know what card that was. Power, <laughs> Power Taint. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Signed by him right there. So he has a, a music video that he made called Power Taint. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that's a good one. What's this other one here? Oh, we got three cards. A desert? Okay, <laughs> yes, that makes sense. I imagine this is probably the desert that appeared in the video that we made, even. That's cool. This is an Arabian Nights one. <laughs> Thanks for that. That's, that's funny. Uh, we love the desert jokes. It's not quite a Hash Up Oasis, but this can be sacrificed by a Hash Up Oasis. I believe desert does count as a desert. And something else. What is this one? Oh, that's cool. Japanese foil showcase reality chip. So I had mentioned in some of my videos that this was one of the cards I was looking for. Because the reality chip is my favorite card from uh, Neon Dynasty. And I, I didn't have the fancy version, so I imagine he probably saw my video where I mentioned that. But yeah, this is sweet. Thanks for that. Definitely going to play this one as well. Yeah, that looks pretty great. Nice. Alright, that's some some cool stuff there. What is this also? Very cool working with you. Your pal Tony. PS Desert is a desert. Well there you go, it is a desert. Oh, he's got a business card here. Alright, that was cool. So I guess I should say if anyone is interested in sending something in for me to open on the channel, it is possible for you to do that if you'd like, because I have a, a PO box now. Um, you know, here's the address, but I'll put that in the video description as well, just in case anyone wants to send something for me to open and feature on the channel. But anyway, though, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Uh, definitely come check out the 8th Place Dave Discord. We've got quite a few members, and it's a pretty fun place to be. You can find a link to that in the description as well. And I'd just like to take a moment to thank all of the patrons who support me on Patreon. But otherwise, though, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.